Hi everyone, I thought I'd share, you, share with you something today, get my words out right, um, about limb twist. If you're making a self bow and the limbs develop a little bit of a twist whilst you're tinnering it, you can steam the timber to bend it back. If you're making a laminated bow, bow the, um, the glue can come apart with heat. So I've uh, chosen a bow to destroy on your behalf. So this is the old wastewood bow, I don't know if you remember it. <coughs> now, there are lots of pictures and things out on the internet to show you how to correct limb twist. But I thought it might be easier if you actually see it on a real bow. So here it is. So this, this is the, this is the, um, the bow. So what I've done is I've removed wood from the side that I've made the string go towards. Now then, this was center strung, so the string passed absolutely through the middle of the handle without any issues at all. So it works out quite well on this that you've got the stain on the rest of the wood so you can see where I've removed the wood. Okay, so and I would hope if I get this all lined up right you can see how the string is now, yeah, it's quite a long way off, you know, especially if I draw it, you should hopefully see the string just drifting out to this side. Maybe that'll be better, I don't know. Drifting off towards that side. So, <clears throat> obviously, when you're tilling your bow, if you find that the string is outside of the handle, then you want to move the wood from the side of the bow that you want the string to move towards. So now, if I wanted to bring this back in again, I'd have to remove the wood from the other side here, which is See, I haven't done because it's still clearly varnished. <clears throat> Again, when you're removing the wood to correct limb twist, if you just round off the edges, that won't do anything at all. You have to take working on the on a large flat section. Okay, if I just rounded off this edge here, it wouldn't make any well. It made minimal difference to the string alignment at all. By working on a, the flat, so I've used my Japanese rasp and I've laid it on flat and I've worked this whole section through here down flat. Okay, so it's not rounded off at all. I would round the edges off, of course, if I was going to actually bother to finish this off. I'm not going to. So you have to have it flat across the bow. If I, I've left this edge so that you can see better, whereas if I was actually trying to correct this, I would have removed wood from the whole face of the bow. So this would have been this this brown section here would have disappeared. So you'd have the whole this face removed at a slight angle to bring the bow back into the correct alignment. But when you're doing it, you have to do it just a little bit at a time. So you remove a tiny bit, get it back on the tiller, bend it, bend it, bend it, let the wood cells compress, do what they're going to do, come back, check the string alignment, do a little bit more if it still needs it, back onto the tiller, bend it, keep bending it, let the wood cells adapt and so forth until you get it going in the direction that you want. So there you go. How to twist a bow, or how to hopefully untwist it. You know, some bows are more difficult than others. Um, my pyramid bows in particular are really, really difficult to get right. That's, that's falling outside the handle now. So that's a, a classic example of a buggered bow Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's helpful.